Toronto's Dan Pilevsky knows just how important social media can be to one's career. I was so fortunate to do it when no one was doing it. So I, I started, I think, a year after YouTube launched. So for me, there wasn't a lot of competition, but I think it was obvious who a talent who doesn't. He began posting videos recorded on a webcam in his bedroom way back in 2007. He was a student at Sheridan College at the time, and he got noticed by super producer Jimmy Iovine. When he said, do you know who I am? And I said, yeah, yeah, I do. And I kind of didn't really, but I did. And uh, he basically said, I want to sign you. I love what I see, and we're going to fly to L.A. that night. That was seven years ago, but being a part of the fabricated pop music machine was not for him. He got out of his contract, came back to Toronto, and continued posting covers of other musicians' songs and his own online. Today, he's just one of 10 million people doing the same thing. He now has more than 100,000 subscribers to his YouTube channel and more than a quarter million followers on Twitter. Record label executive Eric Alper signed Talevsky last year after someone mentioned his YouTube success at a party. They asked me if I had heard of him, and I said yes, and I lied. And I quickly went to my cell phone and looked him up and saw that he had 110,000 followers on YouTube, and I said, I have heard of this guy. Alper says the cream always rises to the top, and when talent is shared on Facebook, retweeted on Twitter, and viewed on Instagram and Vine, that's when it pays off. It's never been more important that people see and hear what you have to say on social media, but did you ever consider when you post that message as being equally as important? If, you're gonna, if you want to post for, for, work for people over the age of 30, you post at like 9.02 in the morning because what they find is that people who arrive to work by 9 o'clock, the first thing they do is they check Facebook and they check Twitter. A younger fan base requires messaging at different times and different sites. For me, I had that guaranteed fan base, and they stuck by me all these years. They still stuck, stick by me, and uh, I can communicate with them on, you know, every day and t tell them, you know, where I'm going to be next and when my song is going to come out. It's a recipe for success used by Pickering's Sean Mendez. Just one tweet was all it took to mobilize his fan base, and it worked. As for Talevsky, his followers have propelled his new single, Guilty of Sin, to the number 15 spot on the record charts, and it's rising, bringing his music to the world one click at a time.